Hello, my name is Prime, and welcome to Truck and Logistics Simulator. Today, I'm going to be doing my very first look at the game, which I have been graciously provided a key for, and we're going to explore this new game. So Truck and Logistics Simulator is a newer game that has entered the logistics market of the simulation world, and it gives players an opportunity to drive a variety of vehicles, including a pickup truck like this and other vehicles, which I'll go over in just a second, and complete a number of different contracts and haul different cargoes. A very unique feature about this game is that you can have up to 24 people in multiplayer, this gives you the opportunity to complete convoys, have dedicated people loading cargo, which is an option on trailers as well, and just mess around in the open world map. And speaking about an open world map, this is quite a large map overall. So we're starting up where I, the little green icon is up here in this upper section of the map. And our delivery point for this camper van trailer is down just on the outskirts here. However, that is not the only spot on the map. This is a large area, plenty of different areas and facilities around for you to get contracts and haul various goods around. So Truck and Logistics Simulator offer a number of vehicles right out of the gate. So as you may be able to tell, there's a sub menu on the left hand side where you can sort between cars, pickups, minivans, panel vans, dropside vans, rigid trucks, truck, and other vehicles. And each vehicle is capable of hauling different cargo and mission types, and those of which can be displayed down in the left hand corner. And on the right hand side is some of the main controls where you can test drive, purchase the vehicle, and it gives some stats about it. So your very first car available is this more basic two door. You then have a four door sedan as well. You have an SUV and you also have a sports car. Onto the pickup trucks, you have two available. You have a model that looks very similar to a Chevy and you have a newer truck, which I'm driving today. The minivan selection has a couple available. It's very small unit and a larger variant. There are two panel vans available, this unbranded panel van and an MAN variant. There are three drop side vans ranging from small to medium to large. There are three rigid trucks, a Scania, a Scania dump truck and an MAN box truck. Now onto the truck category where there are seven variants. The first couple options resemble Volvos. We have a couple Scanias, we have some MANs and we also have a Volvo looking variant as well. And in the other vehicles category, there happens to be a monster truck in here just for fun. But keep in mind the drivable vehicles do not just end at the vehicles that you can purchase. Depending on the available mission, you will notice there are some loading equipment as well. And this is where you get up to the roughly 30 vehicles that are, can be driven. You have forklifts, you have telehanders, you have skid steers that can all be driven as well. So overall, a number of great vehicles that you can customize and drive within this game. So without further ado, let's go ahead and haul this camper trailer to its destination. The sounds aren't bad in this game, I must say. Let's go ahead and hop in the interior cam here, see what it's like. The models are actually quite nice. I've seen across uh, some of the different vehicles I've done in testing. Uh, I've done a little bit of stuff off camera here just to kind of get oriented with the game to be honest because while it is very different to what I am used to we'll put our indicator on here. Oh, we don't want to cut out in front of traffic. That was mighty close. Oh yes, I. Uh, Transmission is set a little bit differently than I normally would uh, for these type of uh, uh, vehicles because it is kind of a more arcadey uh, automatic transmission where uh, you can basically just hold down your reverse pedal and it will go into uh, reverse on its own. Uh, so what is Truck and Logistics Simulator? Well, for those who may not know a bit about the game, I'll kind of give you a bit of a rundown. It is very similar, I guess, in essence to an American truck simulator for that matter, because you can haul uh, various goods on transport trucks, mainly European models, but there are some American models. I believe there's kind of a mock of a, uh, a Volvo in the game, uh, Volvo V in L. However, uh, there is, I believe, licensed man trucks, if I remember correctly, uh, in the game, and I believe Scania's as well. Uh, so no means uh, feet here around with the different vehicles. Uh, however, it is definitely a little bit more on the arcade side, and I'll be honest, if we're talking about a direct comparison. And uh, overall graf graphics quality and the map quality, I must say, is actually quite nice. Uh, it's, you know, it's it's a very different style, and it's, this is a very new game as well, so keep that in mind. Um, this is, uh, well, this is version 1, uh, 1.0. I believe the game has actually been out in the open beta, or, or at least in a beta phase, I should say, or alpha phase, or whatever you want to call it, uh, for some time here. We're going to go ahead and go right in the roundabout. 
And uh, yeah, so it has finally been released and I've been graciously provided a key for it. And uh, we're going to be doing some fun with multiplayer as well. I've got a few other uh, plans here. So we're going to do some kind of stuff there where I'll have I'll have an intern helping me out uh, doing some stuff. Uh, oh, car, what are you doing? You go ahead, AI. Uh, you can do your thing. Oh, we're going in reverse. I'm holding the brake. I got to get used to that. Oh, we're going to go smart car. Oh, come on, man. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, man. AI, I can't escape it. It's going to be an American truck simulator. It's going to be here anywhere simulation. I somehow managed to mess it up. Well, would you believe it or not? Uh, so let's go out here. The AI are flying around this map, if you ask me. Um, I don't know what the speed limits are. Maybe I'm just going a little bit crazy. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and see how we do. This truck is quite powerful, I must say. But there are a number of cool things, as you may have seen from the different vehicles. You can customize a number of things. Haul plenty of different cargo. Everything from semis to, uh, well, semi-trailers, I should say. Different uh, construction equipment. Of course, camper trailers and different just general cargo on flatbed trailers as well and cargo in box vans uh, and side panel trailers. Overall, is quite neat. And uh, I believe uh, from what I can do or kind of remember from my different research I've done uh, kind of on uh, the publisher and so on. So it's a newer game developer from what I can tell, but the publisher is uh, the same as the good old Omzi 2 and those guys, uh, those kind of games. What is this AI doing? You're going to go ahead around here? It is a small roundabout. I do understand that. Uh, however, I think we can probably manage to go around here uh, not too bad. Um, we'll turn off the indicator there. Uh, going up some serpentine roads here. Uh, nice switchbacks. Man alive. Is that the camera a little sensitive? Uh, that is one thing. Uh, the controls, I will give anyone fair warning. And I mean, I would recommend checking it out on, on Steam. That is for sure. Uh, it is, I mean, yes. Compared to some of the other games I've done on this channel, a little bit more on the arcade side. However, that has its benefits. I've had actually a lot of fun uh, playing around in this uh, game. And honestly, I probably should have been recording a lot of it uh, in my trial and error because I have had some really fun moments. There are some fun things actually hidden around the map here uh, that uh, kind of are little almost Easter eggs, but just kind of fun things for you to do and explore. Yes, maybe is it is it not maybe polished the same way as you would see in a more established game, but can you really expect that considering the first release has just happened? Uh, so overall, it is a very, very interesting game indeed, and uh, one that I would recommend checking out if you like your logistics, and especially if you want to do some more of these... Um, a little bit more hotshot kind of delivery types or whatever. Uh, just hauling stuff with just smaller vehicles, not just transports. Uh, you can uh, go from there. And uh, kind of cycling back to visual quality. Um, yes, detail. Actually pretty good, I must say. Uh, the map, it is all an open world map from what I can tell. Um, you can pretty much drive anywhere you want. Uh, and uh, you will get some damage as well in the vehicles. There is some damage... Uh, formation and stuff and modeling on the vehicle so keep that in mind if you absolutely ram into something uh, most likely the vehicle will be damaged uh, however <laughs> so that is something that this game definitely has a leg up on uh, but some of the you know other ui and just things like that eh, maybe not the same as other games but as being honest, it is a quite interesting game, and it has a lot of potential as well. Uh, a game like this where it's very open-ended, uh, shall we say, on your opportunities and uh, for vehicle integrations, cargo integrations, and future updates as well. Um, there's a lot of room for growth um, and a lot of room uh, for improvements, uh, which is always good because that gives uh, some ga the game a little bit longer of a life in many ways, uh, so it doesn't just hit a point and install, uh, which we've seen many times with games in the past. Uh, so it's actually kind of exciting to see where this game can go given some extra time. But I'm going to be doing some really fun stuff actually here very soon. We're going to go ahead and make a left-hand turn. Um, we're going to have some fun here uh, in one of the next episodes here on the game. Uh, we're going to do a uh, we're going to do a heavy haul or some form of convoy transport thing. Uh, and as mentioned, going to have a bit of a going to have an intern. Someone help me out. And we're going to have some fun with the uh, multiplayer aspect of the game. So we're going to see how that one goes as that is a big play with it. 
and uh, overall I think it's just going to be a lot of fun. You can do a lot of things. The uh, modeling is actually quite good indeed. Uh, the physics actually feel like moving of the, the trailer and stuff like that. Oh, we actually had to go left in here, so we're going to go ahead and reverse here just a little bit. Don't mind me. Can't even navigate in this game. Uh, <laughs> we're going to go over here. Um, yeah, so navigation, or sorry, handling wise, um, it is actually quite good, I must say, uh, all things considered. And uh, there's the parking area. Sweet. There we go. We're actually delivering it to the uh, camping spot, which is neat. I'm going to actually try and do this reverse in interior view uh, for everyone uh, who enjoys me doing that a little bit more realistic way. And uh, yeah, so let's see. Uh, we're going to... Oh, okay. We're... I guess... Can I turn my head out the window? I can. However, I think I'm going to try and do this with mirrors if at all possible. So which way do I need to go? I need to go that way. Oh, that's reverse. Oh, this, this whole uh, reversing thing with just the brake pedal right now. It's a little weird. I know I can switch it. Um, I think. <laughs> I'm not gonna- I'm, I'm not gonna lie. It's, um, some of the controls I'm just having to get used to, I think, is the biggest thing about it. Um, how am I doing? I think I'm going- Oh! Transport completed! I didn't even get to park it correct, it just took it. Well, okay. Well, definitely not the way I thought this delivery was going to end, but that's what a first look is for. So overall, very interesting game and one that I will be returning to very, very soon. As I mentioned, we're going to have some fun with the multiplayer and get up to some shenanigans. And overall, I think this game is going to be really cool to follow as it progresses. And a uh, huge shout out again uh, to the developers uh, for sending me a copy of it. It's really fun to do these uh, kind of first look videos and stuff on a new game, uh, one that is up and coming um, and one that uh, has a lot of support behind it actually there i've seen a number of great things about it and i can only attest to a lot of good things yes there are obviously things for improvement but they know that very much indeed and there's a lot of things that this game can continue to grow into lighting wise i mean i am running this game at ultimate graphic settings performance is actually very very good um in, indeed uh, so i am happy about that and uh, yeah so there's little hiccups here and there as we can all expect in games these days uh but that those things will be ironed out. Maybe it has already been ironed out whenever you're watching this. Um, it depends because depending on update patterns and so on, you never know what can happen. So overall, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.